Hello everyone, this is Alice the Dragon, and uh, I am starting a new series rather than uh, starting over, uh, or not starting over, uh, uh, continuing my Mindustry playthrough, because Mindustry, when I updated it, deleted my save. So, yeah, I would rather start a new series rather than uh, start all over on Mindustry. I might play it again later. We'll see. But uh, what I've got today is called Hand of Fate, which is a kind of RPG uh, card game uh, with a bit of fighting involved, and you'll see that later. It's been a little while since I've played, so I'm going to be rusty on the fighting part. But, uh, you know, last time I got pretty far... Uh, I think I was on the last queen of the of the whole deck, so that was pretty nice. I think she's the queen of, I want to say, daggers or blades or, like, my memories really doesn't work well. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of reading involved. I will do my best to read all the cards to you because I don't know what kind of screen you're watching this on. You could be watching it on a phone or, uh, or you could be watching it on the TV far away from you. And uh, I really don't want you to be in a position where you don't understand what's going on because you can't tell what's on the screen. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I, I uh, reset my progress all the way to the beginning, so that should uh, give us the whole shebang. Uh, let's, let's go meet the dealer, shall we? Ah, one more for the game. The final Come, journey. Come, sit. You have passed the Thirteen Gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. I dig your style, dude. <laughs> back so soon. Let's start. I knew you would not falter. All the way from the beginning. Let's do this. I wonder what he's hiding behind that mask. Let's let's continue. Jack of Dust. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged making powerful and blockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Uh, that, that kind of sucks. In the ruins of an ancient temple along the eternally shifting sand dunes lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits, infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that dare take their chances traveling through his domain. He rules as a king over the barren land. Ooh. Are we going to fight him right away, or are we going through the dungeon? We're going through the dungeon, aren't we? That's a neat trick, dude. You, you should teach me that. You really should. Like, all those cards flying around, I want to be able to Let do that. Let the cards fall where they may. <laughs> all right. We begin. So, this is the dungeon. This is me, the little golden guy, uh, right there on the table. And there's really only one way I can go, so let's go. The Maiden. Ooh, Fair I like Merith. the Maiden. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. Ah. One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Ooh, do I lo want longer life, supplies, or gold? Let's see. I have 10 food. I'm at 100 health. Um, and 10 gold. I think I'm going to ask for a longer life. So let's do that. As you wish, 
Merith mutters and waves her hand. A light shines from your skin. The dealer draws one max health gain card. All right, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Five max health. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. Yes, I know, I know. I'm eventually going to die, just like in any kind of roguelike. The greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Ooh. Then she disappears off into the distance. Ooh. Next card. Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. This guy's really into his cards. <laughs> you see a weapon glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. I am going to climb down and get that weapon. All right, so here's the fun. I have four cards Choose from and these uh, three successes. Now, if you... If you unfocus your eyes just enough and pay attention, you can kind of tell where the cards are going. So I'm pretty sure this one is the sword. I got pretty good of, good at this. I don't know how good I still am, so let's see. Success! Ooh. Climb down to retrieve the weapon. Very carefully, you make your way down to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one equipment card. I got an axe! 25 damage! Yes. Rusty axe. Yes, I would like to equip this axe to replace my rusty axe. A moment to axe. savor. That will make you much more effective. Yeah. It's Mr. Lionel! Hello, Mr. Lionel. He is ugly. Just, like, he's got a little bat nose and all those sharp teeth. And they're, they're, they're not even the same size. Like his canines, like the, the right one is bigger than the left one. That, and he's spilling his beer everywhere. So, <laughs> uh, whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. All right. Uh, I could give him bread. I could... I don't have 20 gold. I could ask him what he needs, or I could ignore him. If if I ask him what he needs, I think he's going to take one of my items. I don't really have that many items except that nice axe. So I'm going to give him some bread and hope I don't starve to death down the line. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one equipment card. While I do consider myself uh, you know, female for the most part, yeah, I do also consider myself gender fluid in, in that... I really don't mind playing ma male characters and even enjoy that on occasion. So let's see, uh, shields uh, with reflect allow the hero to reflect projectiles back t at the attacker. This must be performed with precise timing as the projectile draws near. Press the Q key to reflect projectiles, look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Uh, it has a counter. Uh, also, the Q key, look for green attack indicators above foes. Q key to counter. Okay, that, that sounds nice. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Before you can stop him with inhuman speed, 
the goblin snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Pickled onion, that actually sounds kind of good. Then I've got weird tastes. Let's Bound go down the stairs. Seeking the heart of it all. Yes, take the stairs. We embark upon the next leg of our adventure. You're on the final floor of our simple map. Your opponent waits here for uh, you. Oh yeah, the Jack of Dust. Find him. Like, if you defeat really me, short. well, it is early to be talking about victories and losses. Let us see what you're made of. Mm. I am made of mostly meat. An ambush. Hardly <laughs> fair, is it? Winding trail. Let's do this. Uh, suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Dealer draws you one monster card. Just two! Yes. I am going to attack them. I do not want to give up all my gold. Uh, weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielder's face obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die! I do not want to die, and I do not want to give up the gold. So I'm going to attack. Rah! The battle begins! Now let's see, it's West. Uh, mostly clicking and the cue. I think I can do that. Hey. Right. I probably should have grabbed my controller for this. Let's see how I do. <laughs> uh, yep. Alright. Alright. Let's do this. Give me all my equipment. Yes. Also gotta keep my eyes You can now counter that. your opponent's attacks. Hit the uh, counter yeah. button when you see the flashing Stun's indicator. Be difficult to do. Yeah. Counter. Counter. I'm just kind of hitting Q randomly. Uh, there we go. See, easy peasy. Yes, I should definitely switch to my uh, controller for the next episode. I uh, do not want to overdo it, so that's okay. Uh, three gain cards. Yay! Loot! Armory! I'm sure yes. you're grateful for that. Ooh, Damocles. During combat, press 2 to throw knives in 8 cardinal directions. All right. Artifacts provide powerful right. special abilities Buy to use food. in combat, but it takes time to ready them. Gold! Lots of gold. I now have 25 gold. That's great. Traveling Tinker. Speak of gold. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Yes, I'm going to approach the shop. Let's see what you've got and maybe you can buy some of my if you were wondering stuff, why you've been like collecting that all that gold you now have your answer we're starting to get into the meat of the game now the back and forth between resources and rewards all right uh oh never mind i don't have that rusty axe anymore all right uh all right Back, back. I want to buy items. Healing cap? Too much. Shield I already have. Sword doesn't do as much damage. Axe doesn't do as much damage. Well, I guess I can buy some food. Although I'm really, really close to the end. Does having extra gold at the end benefit me? I. I don't think so, so let's, you know, sorry dude, nothing I really want, so I'm going to continue on my merry way. Yes. Next card, Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. <laughs> Looks awfully spiky, like maybe that's a cave or something, but it looks like those are trees. Like, what would, what would make stalagmites in, uh, 
above ground. Maybe water drips down from the trees and, uh, and has lots of minerals in it for some reason. <laughs> While crossing the ancient rope, of, rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush! Ah! Two of dust again. That's nice. Like, they go up to five, I believe, and I've been pretty lucky there. Alright. Yes. Yes. That's that's fine. Continue. I, Alright. I gotta remember I can... Yeah, counter! Yes. Ouch! First guys are pretty easy, or at least, um, yeah, dust is pretty easy. Three game cards, equipment, yes, please. I cannot expect you to get by Another without shield. some protection. shield, exactly what I've got. Um, really? No, no need. I've already got one. Is that what one. you're going to do? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, uh, 30 gold. I have 55 gold. This is nice. Jack of Dust. You have reached my first champion. Yes. A good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Uh, losing your family really sucks. And I would uh, definitely sympathize with him if he wasn't trying to kill me. You know, if he wasn't trying to kill me, you know, I mean, we could sit down and, and talk it out. But uh, unfortunately, that's the path This token chose. will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Yes, those nice tokens of magical unlocking. Sounds good. Let's do this. Come on, Jack of Dust. Show me what, what you got. Oh, I recovered some health. Yeah, see, four of dust. So, we get a little bit more. Yeah, Jack. I like that headband. All right. Some I've... enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counterattack. Oh! Okay. Did not roll out of the way. Uh, see, this is this is where it's getting difficult. Come on, turn around. Uh, that was that was close. Uh, Come on, get out of the corner. I have to pick a direction too when I'm dodging. Uh, okay, I got all your minions. What are you gonna do about it? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Nope. Ouch. I'm okay. Yeah. Sometimes they drop gold on the field that you have to go collect. So. I really wish there was a down into the worms. Perhaps there is peace for him in the yeah. grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. If you fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Oh yes, of course. It, it wouldn't be a good game if uh, there wasn't a little bit of increasing difficulty as you go along. Anyway, it looks like I got six cards from this first token. I got the Jack of Skulls, the Dead King's Hall. I really like the Dead King's Hall. <coughs> the 
local peasant, devil's choice, devil's choice is fun, river, captain of the guards. Let's add those to our deck. Open another token. Alright. Uh, we get medium armor. We get chains of rage. The mercenary contract. The medium armor. Oh, another medium armor. Fortune's breath and desperate measures. I forget what the mercenary contract does. I, I wonder what that is. Uh, token. Third token. And the last card. Bandit attack. Yeah. All right. Shall we deal again? Uh, no, I don't think we'll deal again. I think this is a good stopping point. I have no idea how long this video is right now. Uh, probably less than half an hour. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. And I will continue making these videos whenever I can and uploading them for your viewing pleasure. And uh, in the meantime, take care and have a wonderful day.